Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have something a little bit uh, special for you today. Um, we are doing the daily reading, but um, before I get into that, special delivery, special, very special delivery, all the way from Japan. To be exact, I have a deck from Takarazuka Hyogo. We're going to unbox it here on this channel for your daily reading, and then we're going to get into the actual reading. If you want to know what deck it is, it is the Alchemia Tarot deck. Alchemia Tarot deck. Um, see if I can figure out how to best open this. But I did get this just the other day. It wasn't expected. I wasn't expecting to get it so early, but very happy to have received it. And um, I've kind of been slacking on my unboxing videos, so I figured now is the perfect opportunity. It's a Saturday afternoon. Um, I'm home, and the boxes, uh, the package is still on, has not been opened. So I figured we should just do it here. But yes, this is the Alchemia Tarot deck. Um, I bought this off eBay last week, I think, yeah, kind of as a birthday present to myself. Uh, it comes with a, some air pockets, air packets here, probably throw out. Let's see, oh my goodness, they are, they've included some konpito, Japanese traditional candy. And uh, very nice, very nicely packaged. Um, the person who sent this to me off eBay sent it extremely um, fast. There was there were all these um, follow up emails, um, just letting me know that the tracking was on target, um, the shipping was was going along well. So very very efficient over in Japan. Um, they really know what they're doing over there. Um, I'll see if I can link the the seller information below um, this. Uh, video, but yeah, they even uh, gave me a little bit of candy, looks like, um, and uh, paper crane, which is wonderful. Um, I am tempted to try the candy, actually, because, you know, actually, a lot of you don't know, but I, I have a sweet tooth, <laughs> major sweet tooth. Um, let's see if I can open this. Try the candy. So much packaging, but actually not that much packaging considered this came all the way from Japan. Also, yeah, look at this cute little crane. Does anyone know how to make these? I've actually never learned how to make them. That's cute. I'm going to keep that on my, I'm going to keep that right here as um, a little reminder. How beautiful. Um, so here's the Japanese candy that it came with, and I'm sure this is just a special treat. Let's try it. Mmm. Very good. Sugary. Tastes like rock, um, rock crystal, rock candy. So, very nice little touch there. I always appreciate when, isn't it always nice when sellers go the extra mile for us? Anyway, I bought this off eBay last week, I believe, or maybe it was a little bit, uh, took maybe a little bit further beyond that date, but I believe I paid $55, was it 54 uh, I should probably check to see how much I paid for it. They did not declare the full price on the customs, so I didn't have to pay any kind of taxes, additional taxes. I'm just checking my summary here to see how much I actually paid for the deck. Um, I first heard about this deck, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Varouche Tarot, I'm sure you are. Fabulous tarot reader. Um, it's been around. She's been around uh, 
for a long time, probably since the beginning of you know tarot on YouTube. Um, since tarot readers started reading on YouTube. Um, but anyway, I saw this deck on her channel. I did my research. I actually asked her, what deck are you using? I didn't hear back from her. She's a busy lady. And I, I don't, of course, maybe I've asked her before because sometimes I see things and then I forget about them and then I'll, you know. So maybe I've asked her twice. I don't, I don't remember. But anyway, I saw this deck. Uh, Varush was using this deck on her channel. And I thought to myself, Oh my god, that's the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's more like, um, I don't know if you guys, have you guys seen, I mean, it's Japanese, so first of all, you know, it's going to be perfect just based on the fact that it's it's a Japanese artist and um, that's created it, but the, it's, it's very, um, for me, it just represents, um, a fantasy it's a, it's a sort of a fantasy deck for me um, just the way that the colors are and uh, there's something I don't know, there's something otherworldly about it you know there's something that obviously stood out to me um, I mean Japan known for manga and also if you guys have seen the Nino Kuni series Besides all of the beautiful animation and um, uh, manga that comes out of Japan, you know, it um, it does capture that. It does capture that, but not in a cheesy way. You'll see what I'm talking about. So, anyway, I will timestamp below the actual reading. Oh, look at that. I caught the uh, bubble wrap on fire. Don't do as I do. I was like, what does that smell? Don't, um, don't unbox near candles. How about that? Do not unbox. <laughs> All right, so here we go. It is the Alchemia Tarot deck. Let me just adjust. By Akko Morimura. We go gorgeous as you can see it's gonna come with the uh, a booklet as well here it is the side the back um, it'll fit nicely on your bookshelf so here we have a completely unwrapped version here I'm gonna see if I can gently so obviously this is, as you can see, all it's all in Japanese. I'm probably going to need a volunteer to help me translate. Um, if you speak Japanese and you want to help me translate any of this information uh, below here, that would be wonderful. But other than that, um, you know, I've been reading tarot for a while, so I don't think reading the cards will be a problem. This truly is uh, an unboxing video though. You're gonna see the whole process. So if you do want this deck, um, please know that just because it's it ships from Japan doesn't mean that you're gonna, they don't waste time. You know, I got this in a very, very short amount of time and I did not have to pay extra for shipping or customs, anything like that. It was extremely efficient. Okay, now I suddenly want more candy. <laughs> Mmm, delicious. All right, here we go. Beautiful box. Let's see if I can. I'm having some issues with the lighting today. Let's... Hopefully that's a little bit better. It's a beautiful red color. Um, <clears throat> so it kind of comes out of the, sh the sleeve. And then um, we've got this book here, and it is all in Japanese. So unless you can you can read Japanese here, you're not going to be able to understand. But it's so it'll start off with um, the, the major arcana with the magician and the fool. Give you an idea. 
I wish I knew a little bit more background, but um, it does have some spreads in the back. God. That looks to be, that, these spreads are familiar. Oh, the Celtic Cross. Anyway, that they, they have like the title or the name of the card in English and in Japanese, and then it just says keywords. They do have a story that goes along with the card and then the card reading, which I'm not sure what that's about. Yeah, I can't understand any of this. This is all in Japanese. So, what other spreads do they have here? They have a lot of spreads coming up. That's my only, that's my only um, gripe is that uh, it's, it's only translated in Japanese. So, uh, maybe one day I'll, uh, I'll, I'll befriend, uh, actually I have, I have Japanese friends on Facebook that I can reach out to and see if they could just translate maybe a few of these for me, that would be wonderful. Or if anyone wants to volunteer, you know, I can send you a, a high res of the text, but it, it would be nice just to know what, what one of the, you know, one of the storylines is and what, what they, how they interpret the cards. So anyway, it comes out like this, very nicely packaged, everything beautiful, as would be expected. There's this interesting little pattern as well. It's kind of got a, a royal pattern to it. The, uh, the Empress is on the cover, and you'll see the Empress is a gorgeous card. Gorgeous. So I'm going to now open... The box here, the box. And we'll take a look at some of the cards together. Hopefully that sounds good. Let's put everything, let's put everything back so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, so this, this is gonna fit nicely on your bookshelf. This is, um, you know, with the exception of it not being in English. Obviously, let's just put that there. That looks so nice. All right, let's take a look at the cards. This is brand new, not used. Here, here's the back of the deck. Okay. All right, so kind of like a, a yellow, golden yellow color. We'll start with the first card, which is the Fool. And I'll just walk you through what they look like. So each card has the numbering and the uh, title at the bottom. And you can see how beautiful and bright the colors are. All right, we'll just walk through. We have the Magician. The High Priestess. There she is, gorgeous. The emperor. The hierophant. And these are like um, thick cardstock, so I want to say at least 90 pound. It's it's thicker than 80 pound. It's not flimsy. Uh, almost Oracle cards, like Oracle cards. You know, I didn't show you in comparison how big these cards are, but they're not small. Okay, so these are nice sized. I'm trying to see if I can give you a comparison somewhere. Um, yeah, maybe I will get the measuring tape out just so I can show you. So the cards are five inches, nearly uh, almost five inches here. Let's just say four and three quarters of an inch long and three inches wide. Okay. So Hopefully that gives you a pretty good comparison. Also, I have this beautiful Coke Zero, so you can see about the same height as a Coke Zero. Mm -hmm. 
We have the lovers. The chariot. Strength, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to go through these pretty fast. So if you want to pause to look at any of them closer, Justice, the Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, I'm looking at it. Wow, this is the first time I've seen them up close. The colors are just gorgeous. I mean, I don't think my camera's doing doing them justice. Uh, they have a semi-gloss finish. I want to say almost a gloss finish. So, but not annoying gloss. Like it doesn't feel like it's not um it's not hyper glossy, but they are glossy. Let's see, very very sleek deck. The Devil, The Tower, The Star, The Moon, The Sun, Judgment, the world, King of Wands. <clears throat> so yeah, that was the end of the Major Arcana. Um, it's going into the uh, fire signs. King of Wands, I like how he's looking in a particular direction because that really does help when I do readings. Um, so we're getting a side view of the King of Wands. I'm just gonna move the Major Arcanas over here to this pile. We have the king, we have the king of wands, queen of wands. So in this deck, um, I mean, it depends how you do it, but I like how they can either be one looking at the other. We're getting a, a side profile of him, but like a three quarter view of her. Knight of wands. Page of Wands, Ace of Wands. Okay, so we finished the core cards for the Fire Signs going into the Minor Arcana. Two of Wands, Three of Wands. Love that. Four of Wands. Fantastic. Fantastic. These are gorgeous. Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. Okay, finish the uh, suit of wands. Let us move to pentacles. King of pentacles. Queen of pentacles. Knight of pentacles. Page of pentacles. I think I'm also going to um, timestamp the different suits below so you can see Major Arcana and then the Minor Arcana suit separately if you want to skip ahead. Ace of Pentacles going into the Major Arcana. Two of Pentacles. All right, so on the um, after we go through the court cards and we start with the Ace, um, we no longer have the, the wording at the bottom. So it's kind of, uh, you know, we just have the numbering now. All right. So if you're just learning, you're just beginning tarot, um, they're not going to have any wording 
uh, just numbering on the minor arcana after you go past the ace. Uh, so the aces are, are highlighted in, in, in these decks. As you can see they, um, with the titling down here. Okay, so no numbering, uh, just the title. And then once we get into the minor arcana, it's just, we're just going to be going off numbering here at the top. So, two of pentacles, three of pentacles, four of pentacles. Interesting. Five of pentacles, six of pentacles, seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, a little bit different than the rider weight there. We got a this could be a man or a woman, but I, it's gender neutral for me, that one. Ten of Pentacles. Gorgeous. All right. We are finished with the suit of coins or um, pentacles. Let's move into swords. Okay. King of Swords. Front on with the King of Swords, face on, I mean, Queen of Swords would get the side profile. Knight of Swords. Very action oriented. Page of Swords. Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. All right, so we're going into the minor arcana now, so just numbering. Three of swords. Four of swords. Five of swords. Please excuse my fingernails. I just got took some acrylics off, so. Six of swords. Seven of swords. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. Okay, we're done with the uh, Suit of Swords. Okay, moving to the Cups and the last suit here, and finish. We'll finish the unboxing. We have the King of Cups. Sort of a three-quarter view. I like the little dolphin in the background there. The colors are the total spectrum here. Queen of Cups. Knight of Cups. Page of Cups. Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. All right, guys, and that is uh, going to be it for um, the unboxing today. And um, actually, I will do the daily reading using this deck, so check out my daily readings if you want to see uh, for the daily reading for um, tomorrow, uh, Sunday, September the 8th, if you want to see me do a reading with this deck. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you like this deck, what your thoughts are below.